This is Walter Tor and this is his life. He was born on 20th of April 1888. He had a brother named Edward who was two years older than him and his oldest brother William. His mum that died when he was seven and his dad died when he was nine. His baby sister Elsie and his, his sister Ce Cecilia and his big sister Bertha. He got put in North Board School in Blackball Road. His dad died because of a heart attack. The home. Walter was in a child home from 1898 to 1900. Each house was watched by his sister. They viewed the chores. There were 320 children in the home and they each had lessons every day. Walter played football in his spare time. He even made the Bonner Road school team. In the home, you were allowed cards, letters and even visitors. Walter most enjoyed the time when he was wrote a card or letter or visited. Eddie was Walter's brother and by the 14th of November, Eddie got adopted. All on his own, Walter Tull grimly continued his education until it was time to go out into the outside world. Football. Walter Tull was playing for Bonner Road school team and he went to Clapton FC, the best amateur team. When Walter Tull played his first match, they won 6 1. They won the cup at Clapton. Walter Tull had been noticed by big clubs, Tottenham Hotspur asked Walter if they could sign him in and he wasn't sure if he wanted to become a pro. Playing for Spurs. In 1909, Walter was signed for Spurs. They say he was the first black British professional outfield player. He was booed off the pitch every time he got near the ball. Then a journalist wrote about Walter and how amazing he was at football. Walter had a wage of four pounds a week. That was the maximum in those days. Walter knew he had played well and everyone said so and he tried not to react to all the bad insults that people threw at him. New start! In 1911, Walter Tull joined Northampton Football Club. He settled in really well and played loads of games. Once, he scored four times in a single match. He, played, he made loads of friends and he was so good that Glasgow Rangers asked him to play for them. In 1914, Walter saw some shocking news in the latest newspaper. War had broke out between many nations, including England. Once Walter saw it, he didn't think twice. He was going to war. We are going to talk about Walter Tull marching off to war. His uniform was a navy green colour and his actual uniform was a cap, a bag and a gas mask to prevent you from getting poisoned by gas and some boots that were very uncomfortable and heavy and a, and a jacket. In World War One, there used to be a song called It's a Long Way for Tipperary. They used to sing it on their way to war. A Christmas miracle. On the 24th of December, the year 1915, the German sang the Night Silent Night. The English accepts the Germany's truth and sang Carol and played a game of football. But on Boxing Day, they got back to their ways in the trenches and carried on fighting. Battle continues. Walter Tull wasn't the first footballer to die in the war, but Ben Butler, his friend, was. Ben Butler was Queen Park Rangers, sent half soldier on the line. Also, he was killed in action. He was promoted three times and he was 26 years old when he was a lad sergeant. That means he does a sergeant's job but does not get paid. He hoped that he'd get a proper promotion next time. Some kids lied about their age so they could join the war. Walter Tull's birthday. One day when he woke up, he felt ill. His ears were ringing and his body was shaking. That's how he knew he got trench fever. On Walter Tull's birthday, he was in hospital because he got trench fever the day before. It had taken three months, but then he headed back to the battlefront. Walter Tull was in hospital with what's with surra surrounded by men with what's called trench shell shock. The doctor told him to go back to Britain after three months in hospital. The Battle of the Somme had been going on for months. The place is a quagmire of mud. They live in a hole in the ground. His weeping started out with 400 men and there were 79 people alive. Attacking hard, the enemies are defying every step of the way. He ran through mud, barbed wire, explosives, machine gun fire. 
Men died all around him and friends. Walter Tull, an officer. The trenches caused a disease called trench foot, which from all the mud. The trenches were filled with water. It had to be pumped out. No one liked that job. The latrines, toilets, overflowed. Now, more about Walter Tull. Walter Tull. He had a very important job. He had his men to look after and had to work hard to keep their spirits up. His uniform contained bugs and they had to eat them because they were starving. He became an officer on Boxing Day 1916. Here are some quotes. They seem to like me and me, a real officer and gentleman. His commanders were very impressed by him. They said he kept a cool head and a strong heart. Although he was black and people are mean to him, he fought for us, king and country, to so think what you're doing or saying. He had one big worry. He heard that black people can't be officers in the British Army. He, he made history and will be forever remembered. Pastondale. In the months of June, July and September 1917, Walter led his troops into three different missions to capture some high ground in Belgium. The British planted bombs around the area, killing most or wounded, but captured in 880. Um, even though they captured and they were still losing because they had 15 killed, 121 wounded and 23 missing. The final hill was owned by the enemy so this was no easy task but eventually they won in a bloody fight. In the month of October the group travelled to Italy, Javara, to fight at the Battle of River Pelive. But at the end of it all, they eventually won. Walter and his gang nearly froze to death in the layer that they were wearing. He was leading many raids. It was dangerous. And apparently, the senior officer came and saw the good work Walter and his men were doing. And he ordered them to go in a, on a raid into the enemy lines. The officer had mentioned Walter in the official dispatches. Second Lieutenant Walter Daniel John Tull was killed on the 25th of March 1918 during the second... Battle of the Somme. He was 29 years of age. He was shot while crossing no man's land. His men tried recovering the, the body three times but were forced back by enemy fire. This is what the officer said. I wish to place my appreciation of his gallant, gallantry and, and coolness. You were the, he was the first to cross the river of prior. We hope you enjoyed our video about the life of Walter Tull, he was a great man who inspired many.